so let's start by showing off the uh, the new ending here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 64, Sorted. In today's episode, we added many, many more notes to the back, what we call the backbone line here in the composition, or, or the polyphon line, I should say, which is down here. Um, and we realized that the, the backbone, which is this line, and the polyphon together make dyads, and those dyads can give a different kind of an energy story um, compared to the triads above them. For example, a triad could be ambivalent because it has a mode and a active note at the same time, but the two dyads that we picked it may just be um, dominant only with an urge, or they may be subdominant with neither. And we did, after we added all the, basically what we did with the polyphon was we emphasized right in here when we have a long half note across the bar ending. And then we also uh, added them here where we have echo bars that had, that had nothing in them before. So it makes for more continuity in the composition. We also took part nine and reprised it near the end which added a little bit of more meat to our uh, to our ending. So we did all that. Then we began to work with the animation, and that's the main thing we want to show you now. Uh, we're, we're aiming at animating, um, expanding our ability to animate. <laughs> and boy, howdy, did we do that. So this is with nothing playing. What we're basically doing is running, um, what are we doing? What are we doing here? We're running two things against each other. And then they get driven, uh, one of the, this is the, ar the arpeggios plus the backbone, and this is the, the uh, polyphone plus the shimmer line. So we actually have a uh, transparency driving in here as well. And what we're going to do is play this whole thing for you, watching the magic uh, animated window, just to see what it looks like. So here we go.
So, that concludes today's stream. I think we can all agree that was a bit trippy. Um, our ideas for next time are to keep working with the animation. Um, some ideas, we're, we're actually seeing some ideas here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, a mandala effect. Mandala effect. Which we need, we, we want some more, uh, more circles. Yes, even more. Um, and then, and then to be determined. But what we do like about this is that the, the music itself is getting more and more, um, nuanced and, um, and, and we're using the, the pastel colors here that helps kind of carry across the idea of the nuance. And we didn't, sh we didn't walk you through the score this time, but, um, it kind of shows up in here. So thank you for your time and attention. Acknowledgements to Philip Berry and 1TD4 who stopped by. Tune in next time to see what happens. And do come back. Do take care. And do keep on streaming. <laughs>